Welcome to live2clays.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. Hello students, in this video I will discuss how to calculate the number of atoms in a specific amount of an element. This is the density formula given, we need this formula to solve this problem and in solving this problems I will show you how you can calculate number of atoms present in a specific amount of element. The problem says that consider an element which crystallizes into a cubic type of structures, cubic type of structures of unit cell having one atom on each corner of the cube and two atoms on one of its diagonals. Here you can see that one atom is present on each corner of the cube and two atoms are present on one of its diagonals. From this information we can find out the Z value. Z value is the number of atoms per unit cell. Then we can add up this number of atoms, Z is equal to, here we have one atom is present on each corner and two atoms are present on one of its uh, diagonals. Then total number of pre atoms present per unit cell are three. This is how we got the Z value. Now the question says that if, condition is there, if the density of element is 6.5 gram per centimeter cube, density value is given here. And the volume of the unit cell, volume of the unit cell means a cube value is given. That is 43 multiplied by 10 to power minus 24 centimeter cube. Now, the question says calculate the number of atoms present in 180 gram of the element. This is the specific amount and in this amount we have to calculate number of atoms present. Well, before we calculate number of atoms present, in this amount of the element, we need to know the atomic mass of the element so that we can convert the mass into moles and moles into atoms. Here you can see that Z value is given, D value is given and so volume of unit cell is given. We can apply this density formula. We can apply this density formula and we can calculate atomic mass. Let's apply the formula. We can plug in the values. Density is given that is 6.5 here we have 6.5 and it is gram per centimeter cube and so is equal to z z value is 3 multiplied by that is m m is the atomic mass and so volume of unit cell aq aq value is already given that is 43 here we have 43 multiplied by 10 to powers minus 24 and it is in centimeter cube because it is a volume multiplied by na na is our gado number and it is equal to 6.0 multiplied by 10 to power 23 and it is per mole. Now we can do the cross multiplication and find out m value that is atomic mass of elements. Here we have on left side the value which we get that is 3m and so we can transfer this value then here we get 43 multiplied by 10 to power minus 24 and it is in centimeter cube. Then we have 6.0 multiplied by 10 to power 23 and it is per mole and this value also comes on right side the value which we have that is 6.5 and it is gram per centimeter cube same unit will cancel out here you can see that we get gram per mole that is the unit of atomic mass this is what we are going to calculate from this expression now we can uh, do the calculation we can multiply the values here we have 43 that is 43 and it is multiplied by 6.0 and uh, then it is multiplied by 6.5 here we have 6.5 the value which we get that is 1677 and so here we have is equal to 1677 i just multiplied only numbers and exponent you can see that exponents are added in multiplications here we have 23 minus 24 is equal to here we get 10 to power minus 1 because 23 minus 24 is equal to minus 1 and on left side we have 3m we can transfer 3 on uh, right side or we can divide this expression by 3 on both side as a result we get atomic mass is equal to 1677 multiplied by 10 to power minus 1 and at the bottom we have a 3 and unit is gram per mole now we can do the calculation 163 1677 is divided by uh, 3 and the value which we get that is 559 here we have is equal to 559 and multiplied by 10 to power minus 1 it can also be written as the value which we have that is uh, 5 uh, 5. Uh, 55.9 and its unit is gram per uh, mole this is the atomic mass 
this is how we got the atomic mass of the element now the next step is we convert the mass of the element into moles and so then we can find out the number of atoms we can convert moles into atoms here let me mention here so the number of atoms here we can have number of uh, atoms present in the element and hence the mass is what is 180 gram here we have 180 gram is the mass of the element multiplied by here we have the atomic mass atomic mass that is one mole we arrange the set of in such a way so that same units are cancel out here we have uh, it is nine uh, it is looking like g now 55.9 and it is in grams and one mole we can convert into atoms one mole is equal to 6.0 multiplied by 10 to power 23 and it is atoms it is Avogadro numbers and it is per mole 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 will cancel out gram gram will cancel out now we can multiply the top numbers and divide by bottom ones and we can find out the number of atoms at the top we have <coughs> the value 180 here we get 180 the value we will have 180 and so multiplied by 6.0 and so at the bottom the value which we have that is 55.9 and so the value which we get that is 19.32 here we have 19.32 and so multiplied by exponent value that is we have 10 to power 23 and so it is in atoms these are the total number of atoms present in 180 gram of the element you can see how i calculated the number of atoms present in a specific amount of the element first i calculated the molar mass now that is atomic mass because element is given first i calculated the atomic mass of the element then i can convert it mass into moles and moles into atoms thank you if you like this video please click the like button if you have any questions or suggestions please comment below for more updates on IIT JE or need exams, please subscribe to our channel to get a lot of updates. Support us by following us on Facebook and Twitter. To sharpen your skills, please try out our test series on livetotalage.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.